Hey everyone, it is Flynn Patrick once again, and in this video, we will be releasing the number 55 player in the NBA for 2017 2018. I am super excited to talk about this player. The names are getting more exciting, and he is the first player who made the All Star game to crack the list. So let's get right to it. The number 55 player in the NBA for 2017 2018 is going to be. Goran Dragic of the Miami Heat. Let's start with the good. First of all, he made his very first NBA All-Star game, so a big congrats to him on that. He averaged 17 points a game, 5 assists a game, and 4 rebounds a game. He was very durable, only missing 7 games this past season. He cut down on his turnovers overall from the previous season as well. He had some really good games too. I would say his best statistical performance was a 30 point nine rebound eight assist game versus the new orleans pelicans and he has always been a fun scorer to watch and has improved at his scoring over his career goran dragic scored at least 30 points in a game five times this past season a unique fun player to watch who got better and better and really hit his stride once he hit his late 20s to early 30s. And also, what helped his ranking is he did play well overall in the playoffs versus Philadelphia, scoring at least 15 points in every single game. So why in the world did a guy who made the All-Star game not even finish in our top 50? I will give a couple of reasons for that. Overall, I would say he did actually regress from the previous season. His field goal percentage, three-point percentage, both went down and it wasn't a huge regression i mean he made the all-star game but i would honestly say overall he was better the previous season than he was in 2017 2018 and from putting this list together since november 2016 i can say from watching his games he can be a bit of a defensive liability at times he does have a negative 1.1 defensive plus minus box score rating as i've said in previous videos i don't really use advanced stats much when putting this ranking together but that's just an example of from what i've seen on the floor he isn't the greatest defensive player my final reason would be really the depth of the nba right now is just ridiculous looking at the players i have ranked right ahead of him it's just really tough competition especially at this point as we enter the top 50 but i mean still Overall, I'd say it was a very solid season for Goran Dragic. He made our top 55, and he made his first All-Star game. He is the highest-ranked Miami Heat player on this list, and I would say this was a very solid season for Goran Dragic overall. Congratulations to him for cracking our top 120 at number 55. My name is Flynn Patrick. We will be back with more content shortly.